Today, we did that in record time, the first greenfield purpose-built uh, EV factory in North America. So the team I've got and surrounded myself with are consumer professionals, and we've got the expertise, we've got the track record of delivery. What's really important now, though, particularly over the next few months, is to get our first product into production. That's the great litmus. Okay, so Peter, uh, you say you're a technology company, and I, I share that. And on page 37 of your excellent deck that has everything that people should know, leading charging speeds. I happen to think that the differential for many, many people and many, many cars is how quick you can get on the road and how quick you can charge. Give us what you can do versus the other guys. Absolutely, Jim. I couldn't agree more. It's a huge differential. So do we have a charging speed where we can put 300 miles in the car in around 20 minutes? And we're doing that with uh, ultra-high voltage, over 900 volt charging through our partnership with Electrify America. This is next generation technology. And we're doing that with our Wonderbox boost charger. And not only that, we've got two-way charging on board. So we can actually go vehicle to grid. You can run your house off the car. Well, I also like, uh, as someone who has kids who drive, I see that you have 32 sensors on board, a comprehensive sensor suite. I always ask my kids, how many sensors? Why? Because this is what a parent cares about. This is the most. Correct. This is the maybe the safest car on the road. To the best of my knowledge, it's the most comprehensive and beautifully integrated sensor suite for autonomous driving and ADAS. Over 14 cameras, 32 sensors, and we fuse long and short range radar, surround radar with long range, plus a 120 degree solid state LIDAR in the nose. So Peter, one of the things I think our, our viewers, they're so excited. They wanted it a piece. They bought Churchill. Uh, when you try to figure out a price, do you, did you say, listen, you know what, we're every bit as good as Tesla, if not better, but we're priced underneath Tesla, so therefore anyone who thinks that this is overpriced as a stock is missing the big point, which is we have more technology, we have faster charging, we got a better car, and we're cheaper than the stock of Tesla. Well, I think there's a gross misunderstanding on the market, actually, Jim, because actually the price, uh, the acquisition price of Lucid from Churchill was $11.75 billion. That was a snip. It was a great deal for Churchill. But there was a quid pro quo. Churchill brought this incredible array of the bluest of blue chip companies to invest in us with a long term commitment, with a lock up and a commitment. And those companies provided there was, there was a, we were oversubscribed to the pipe. So we actually ex expanded the pipe, and the pipe sold at $15. And this is unprecedented in the, in the history of SPACs. So this is why uh, I'm so buoyed that so many of these savvy investors, blue chip companies, could see the long-term value potential, and that lies in Lucid's technology. Yeah, and Peter, I mean, to that point, you did sell 16% of the company to CCIB shareholders, and to your point, the pipe holders will own about 10% at 15, which is 50% more than those who invested originally in the SPAC at 10 have paid. But that said, you still uh, sold 26% of the company at a discounted value. When I say that, I, I mention it because you might have just gone public the traditional way. There seemed to be great enthusiasm for your stock and your product. Why did you still choose to go this way? I think that this has enabled us to secure our future. We've raised over four and a half billion dollars. This means that we can accelerate our business model and in a secure manner. And this is really important because the whole world needs to move to sustainable mobility with technology. And this means that Lucid can be at the forefront of this new movement. The world cannot wait. This has given us security, commitment from long-term investors, and we've been augmented as a company by the illustrious roster of luminaries that Churchill Capital has uh, assembled which provides a whole new dynamic 
and dimension as we grow the business going forward. Yeah, well, growth is, of course, what everybody's going to be focused on. You say by 2030, you anticipate run rate production of more than 500,000 units. That will represent roughly 4% market share of a 2030 TAM of 15 million overall units. Uh, it doesn't appear to be too, uh, too much of a reach, I guess, in some ways, but at the same time, Aren't we going to get, aren't you going to get significant com competition from the likes of high-end uh, automobile makers who move into EV in a very significant way? And here we're thinking, for example, of Porsche and many others, Audi, yeah, I, you know, on and on. Now, that question has been posed many times over the last decade, and that was the question that was posed of Tesla's run. They haven't come anytime soon. I mean, only last uh, week we learned that Jaguar cancelled their new XJ electric vehicle program. You know, as far as I'm concerned, we have to take a preeminent position. This is a tech race. And I believe only two companies realize that and recognize that. Tesla recognizes it. That's led to their preeminent position. Lucid recognizes it. We welcome the competition. Bring it on. I can't wait for Mercedes to launch EQS and for that to, to be head to head against Lucid Air. We welcome that competition. Everybody wins. The planet, the customers. You win. Uh, Peter, there's a, another page here, deck. And again, I'm urging people to understand the deck. Why? Because Churchill, the stock, it may be confusing to people, but Lucid, the company, 19 top execs, eight went to Indeed. work from Tesla, three from Apple. This is a technology company. What do the Apple people add to the Tesla people to make it so that you've got the technology of the future car? Well, that's an easy one. The car is a computer on wheels. This is a fusion of art and science and hardware and software. We've got the best of the best. And Lucid's becoming a mecca for talent, for top scientists, designers, and lead. We've got fusion of Apple executives with Tesla executives. These are the two worlds that make the new modern era of automobiles. This is a, it's a computer on wheels, but it's still a car. We're a tech company and a car company. Uh, it's a computer on wheels, but it still needs to plug in somewhere to actually get its energy. I mean, are it, is the infrastructure going to be there, Peter, to support uh, what you need uh, in, in terms of uh, people being able to find the places they need to charge their cars in the 20 minutes or so that you say it will take? Absolutely. The infrastructure is already in place. Electricity is uh, everywhere. Most charging is done overnight in one's garage, left to a charger. And with our Wonderbox technology, we can charge the car at nearly 90 miles per hour at home. That's a game changer. That's when most charging is done. Um, and then we've got the great partnership with Electrify America, which is growing exponentially. So we can have this 1,000 volt, up to 350 kilowatt capacity. But it's the 90 miles, nearly 90 miles, in one hour at home charging level two, which I think is a game changer. Yeah, back to the balance sheet for a moment. Um, you know, you're, you're going to be free cash flow positive, you say in, I'd uh, see 2025 is what I see here. Uh, yes. Between now and then, obviously, significant losses. Uh, are you going to need to raise more money beyond the four and a half billion you currently have on your balance sheet? Absolutely, because this is a capital intensive business. Our balance sheet will secure our runway into 2023 we'll have built out phase two of the factory that we can get the economy of scale ready for uh, the launch of project gravity we'll have gravity very close to production this secures our future for a very long runway but this is capital intensive and i'll tell you why because there is no substitute for vertical integration tesla recognizes this we cannot outsource or entrust manufacturing to a third party it is too critical to our very existence nor can we entrust the precious relationship with our customers and so the sales and sort of service network and i'm here in our beverly hill studio this morning this isn't a virtual background this is real and this is the customer experience we need to invest in these they're asset heavy but we can be asset light with our relationship with Electrify America. 
we don't have the capital burden that Tesla has encountered with rolling out its supercharged network, although I applaud them for doing it. Peter, uh, David Faber has introduced us to a number of battery companies, including QuantumScape, which has been one of the most exciting companies. And yet here I am looking at Lucid's single-piece brick injection molded battery, and you're talking about the ability to manufacture millions of units? That's a game changer. I think it is. It's truly designed for mass production in a way that others haven't. When I look at the current products that are out there, frankly, they look like science projects that have been industrialized. What we've done is create design for manufacturing. It applies to all our electric powertrain. And what you've seen, the picture you've seen, is a single shot plastic injection molding where all those elements, those electrical contactors, those bus bars, are encapsulated as the plastic flows, and that pops out of the mold. It's a single shot deal. That's revolutionary. That's like a Lego brick. Peter, soon enough, I think Jim and I and Carl maybe want to get a ride, you know, want to test drive that, uh, that oh. Lucid Air, so, and hopefully we'll be able to do that in person with you at some point. I, I, that, that, that's a date. I, I, will, I will personally bring one round and you must drive and experience. Driving is believing. All right. Uh, well, we will be watching closely. Always appreciate your joining us. And again, congrats on getting to the finish line with uh, Churchill Capital for Peter Rawlinson, the CEO of Lucid. Thank you so much. Great discussion, guys. We'll take a break here, get a look at futures, and then the opening bell.